Welcome back to All Heart. My next guest was part of Team Blake this season on NBC's hit show, The Voice. Take a look. Joining me now is Audra McLaughlin. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm so happy to have you here. You have all your fans. You're a local hometown girl. We claim you. Oh, thank you so much for having me on the show today. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Everybody was psyched to watch you and see how well you did and so beautifully. I mean, there's so many things I, I want to ask you, but um, just in general, what was that whole experience like for you? Pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, it was probably one of the most amazing experiences that I ever got to experience in my life because you know, starting off from, you know, singing locally and, and all around and going from that to mm -hmm. national television was uh, pretty crazy for me. And I learned so much, you know, as an artist, you know, I learned just different techniques of singing and, and everything. And uh, it was just such a great experience. And I got to work with Blake Shelton, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> What's he like? He seems like so much fun. He really does bring like a lot of personality to the to the yes. judges. He's he's the funny. He is hilarious. <laughs> he literally brought out like a lot of like, you know, personality and like fun out of me cuz I was so shy like when I first started um, like back in mm -hmm. the blind auditions I was super nervous and uh like each week I felt like he started to bring out more of like I started to be myself around him, you know, mm -hmm. cuz he was just always funny and he was like, "Oh, just have fun and, you know, and I was just so nervous at first, but I just kept, you know, becoming more comfortable mm -hmm. and just having fun and enjoying myself up there. <laughs> well, you could tell by the way he looked at you. He was a huge, a huge fan of yours. Oh, and thank you. Did you say, and he gave you a present recently? Yes. yes. Well, he, um, when we were in the voice tailgate, he came in and he brought all of us guitars. And they were like, yeah, we have a surprise for you. And we were like saying, they were like, oh, I wonder what it is. And Blake came in with three guitars and we were oh. like, what? <laughs> That's it was so awesome. amazing. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that at all because I was like, what? So now I've just been like really trying to write songs with, with the guitar mm -hmm. and um, just make as you know use out of it. <laughs> well, it's interesting that you say that you were you were nervous and you were kind of breaking out because honestly, in watching you, you looked completely confident the whole time. You faked it well, even if underneath <laughs> you were scared. You really did. You were really commanding and you were really great on the show. Thank completely. You. I felt like each week, you know, I started to just become more comfortable because I started to forget that the cameras were there. Mm -hmm. You know, I think your biggest fear being a singer, and I'm, you know, you know, because you're an amazing singer too, so, you know, I think your worst fear probably is forgetting the words. Yes. You know? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> especially, is. like, I always was like, oh my God, I hope I don't forget a lyric uh -huh. or, or anything like that. So, I think just each week I just tried to block out that the cameras were there and just perform to the audience and and just try to have the best time of my life, you know, because I know that experiences like that don't come very often in your mm -hmm. life. So, you know, I'm just happy that, uh, that I got to, to do that. <laughs> it's easy to get lost on those words. I'll tell you that I've forgotten the words to my own songs that I've written. So don't feel <laughs> so bad. You're good. You're all good. So, but you know, nerves aside, you've been doing this for a long time. You've been singing since how old? A little girl? Or? Yeah, there I started singing. you are. Singing. <laughs> that picture. I love it. Oh when did you, gosh. so when did you start singing? I started singing when I was like, ever since I could speak, you mm -hmm. know, since I was little, but I really started to take, you know, vocal lessons at age nine. And then I started, you know, going from there, I was doing little like, you know, local competitions and um, I was involved in, you know, different, you know, shows and, and different plays and, and things like that. And then, you know, I started taking vocal lessons again when I was like, 18 or 19 mm -hmm. and I, I started just doing different things like that and I was in bands and I started to write my own music and um, I really got involved in more of like the songwriting aspect, aspect of everything and then when the voice came along you were ready uh, I started working mm -hmm. at a school called Delco Let There Be Rock School and uh, yeah. Melissa's actually here today she's my vocal coach and now my manager and uh, that school literally changed my life like when I started working there uh, I learned so much about myself as an artist that I mm. never thought I would be able to and uh, they were the the reason I actually got the opportunity to be on The Voice because they, you know, took a chance on me and they, uh, I, I was only going there for two months and mm. she was really training me and we were fine tuning, you know, who I was as, as an artist and then they thought, you know, I was finally ready to do an audition like that and, um, you know, friends of theirs through the show, you know, they got, they sent my videos in and, and that's kind of how it all started. So. 
I'm just really grateful to, uh, you know, John and Melissa Daly, to the Delco at the Re Rock School. So it's great <laughs> to have mentors like that. Oh my gosh, Completely yeah. Wonderful. I, I wouldn't have been able to do any of that without them. And now I've been learning so much mm -hmm. about myself and becoming more comfortable, you know, doing interviews and, you know, performing on stage and um, just really coming out of my shell. And I think in the last year or so, I mean, when I first started working with her, I was like in a in a bubble kind of, you know. So she she's brought that you know, out of me. <laughs> so quickly yeah. before you go, what's coming up? And a CD of your own? Are we going to hear more from you? Uh, right now, you know, currently I'm I'm, so, I'm writing mm -hmm. and um, I'm definitely going to be, you know, co-writing with people. And, you know, I'm trying to work on that, my album right now and, and getting the right songs and, uh, you know, hopefully head down to Nashville a little bit this summer and, and write with people and mm -hmm. just keep myself busy. You know, I think that's the the main thing right now is to, to be songwriting and, right. and to, to get in my songs. And <laughs> well, you have a bunch of fans here in Jersey and Philly, oh, and we'll all you. be supporting you and watching you, Audra. Thank, thank you thank so much, Lauren, for thank, having me. Thank you for <laughs> being here. Don't go anywhere. When we come back ahead in our Critics Corner, we look at some of the hottest shows and concerts at the Jersey Shore.